Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a past, present, and future reading for the sign of Leo. So Leo, we're going to look at some energies for you. Um, and this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive the notifications when I post. So let's jump right into it and see what is going on with you, Leo. So Spirit, give me a message for Leo's past. Okay, trust the process. Let's get a message for your present. Okay, what do we have here? I am, declare who you are. And for the future, I have universe and celebration. Okay, Leo, this is beautiful. So. There's definitely been like a soul's evolution when it comes to you. Um, I heard like change. Leo, like you've changed when it comes to like your perspective, the way that you see yourself, the way that you see life. I feel like in the past, there was just something that really was not panning out the way that you wanted it to. I heard doubt, fear came into play, but it's like you had to learn how to trust in divine timing. Like what you've been through, Leo, it just helped to increase your faith. And it's like, I am who I declare I am. It helped you to become more confident in yourself, your abilities. I'm also getting a team. There's something about it a team for someone but it's like I heard spiritual team so yes you are being di divinely guided di divinely directed on your path Leo and it's like in the future I just see great expansion for you I see you I heard like declaration declare again yes faith like declare what it is that you want speak those things into existence and by you having a more positive state of mind that's what you're exactly going to be doing, speaking your life, speaking prosperity, speaking happiness, speaking abundance into existence. I see just a lot of celebrations for you, celebrating her achievements, great achievements in your life, Leo. So we're going to clarify the messages to go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more about trust the process. Leo. So I have the Nine of Pentacles and the Hangman in the reverse. I heard like not fast enough. It's like you try to be in control of the outcome. You try to reach a goal. You want it to become stable. You want it to see success, but it's like you were not patient in your waiting. And it's like in the past, you had to learn that you can't control it. All you can do is just sit back and let it happen. You know, you do what you can do and God will do the rest. And Leo, you did everything that you could do, but it's like you wanted to do more because it wasn't happening on your time frame. But again, I heard like divine timing. You had to learn how to trust in divine timing. Let's clarify the nine of pentacles. do we have the nine of wands you had to release you had to learn how to release release how your success was going to come in release what you thought success should be changing of your mindset your perspective you had i heard like yeah i almost let go so yeah you had to learn how to release you had to learn how to relinquish for some of you i heard fear you had to learn how to relinquish fear and just allow things to happen. Let's get a message for the hangman in the reverse. Or do we have here the two of wands yeah because it's like again i heard like expansion like 
you didn't want to sit still like you didn't want to wait you were ready you and leo i feel like for some of you you felt you were ready for this but spirit god knew like at the time you were not ready for what you was asking for there was a lot of um evolution soul evolution growth that you had to go through there were things that you had to experience before you got like to this two of wands energy um i heard the sky is the limit um by biggie so yeah it was just about you believing that you can have what it is that you want but being patient enough to wait on it being patient enough to receive it i heard like in divine order let's look at your present energy Spirit, tell me about I am, who I declare I am. Yeah, I have the Six of Swords and I have Judgment in the Reverse. So for some of you, this is about you walking away from things that really are not working for you. You had to learn how to let go of things that really were not working for you. For some of you, I heard like project, you may um, be coming up with a new way, you know, to tackle a project um i also heard something about an account i heard accountant for someone you may be an accountant this is something that you may desire to do but it's like with this judgment you had to release what is not working for you when it comes to your career when it comes to certain opportunities you have to learn how to let go and that's what you're exactly learning how to do judgment in the reverse you know you're not getting what you want so you know with the six of swords it's time for you to let go and it's like the regardless of how painful it is you know that you have to do this leo it's like you envision having success you envision your dream one way but it's like god's spirit has a better way a way that is going to make you happier, that is going to offer you more opportunities. So it's just about you like releasing, um, I heard like old detachments, um, releasing your idea of what things should be, how things should flow. Because it's like by you trying to hold on to it, it's not working for you. Things are not working out in your favor. You're not getting what you want out of the situation. So it's like, I'm looking at our head being down. So it's kind of like you putting on your big girl or big boy pants and saying, you know what? This may be hard for me to do. This may be challenging. This is not what I want to do, but I know that it needs to be done if I want to see a change. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. And then also recognizing that your circumstances doesn't define who you are. That's what you're doing in your current state, recognizing at her growth, recognizing that your circumstances, it doesn't define who you are. The past doesn't define you. You define who you are. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Swords. Strength. This is your energy. You're in your energy. You're currently in your energy. I heard if God brought you to it, he'll bring you through it. Like you, you're walking away. Regardless of how difficult it is, you're learning how to let go. You're learning how to release. Release what people have said, have done to you. Release the injustices that you've experienced in life. Release what hasn't worked out in your favor. Like, I heard like tackling things. You're finally dealing with the issues. You're finally surrendering, Leo. Let's get a message for judgment. What do I have? King of Wands. 
See, by you letting go, and I heard starting to see, for some of you, you're starting to see the transition. You're starting to see things shift for you currently because you're purging, you're letting go, you're releasing. So it's like you're starting to walk into this new beginning. You're starting, you're headed on this new path. I heard like in a new direction. So yeah, Leo, like you're finally starting to see the shift. You're finally starting to see things change. But it was just all about you being confident in yourself to let go, to try something different, to gain a new perspective. And it's like by you being open enough, by you surrendering, that is what's creating this shift for you. So you're finally starting to see things move for you. You're finally experiencing progress. So let's get a message for universe. Spirit, tell me about universe. What do I have? The page of wands in the reverse. See, with this page of wands in reverse, like in the future, spirit is saying like you don't have to do anything. Like it's already yours. Like there's nothing else that you have to do. Like with this page of wands, like you don't have to start over. Like you're doing the work now. You're already here. In the future, that's what God is going to be telling you. Like you're already here. You're already where you're supposed to be. The world is your oyster. You can have whatever you want. Like, I heard, like, there's no more starting over. Let's get a message for celebration. Death and rebirth in the reverse. You're celebrating your transformation. And I heard conclusion. Yes, you're going through a transformative period in your life right now, Leo. And so I heard like challenges. There are going to be things that you don't like. Experiences that may be difficult for you to go through, but it's necessary. Because in the future, you're going to come to the conclusion of this transformation. And it's like it's going to bring you to a place of peace, of happiness, of celebration, of joy, of contentment. It's going to bring you to the sun. Fulfillment. So in the future, this is about you reaching the conclusion of your transformation. The conclusion of this process. And I heard to begin anew. And then you will begin a new process. But this old process will be finished. The releasing, the purging, the surrendering will be done. Again, you won't have to start over. Because you would have done the work on yourself. You would have gone through the changes. Let's clarify. Spirit, clarify the page of wands in the reverse. The higher fund. A gospel song just came to me. Look where he brought you from. Yes. You will be able to look back and see where God, where spirit has brought you from. You will be able to look back and see how much you have grown. See how much you have evolved, Leo. And it's like you're going from the page of wands to the higher fund. Very much in control, a very mature energy, um, very much in tune with yourself, very spiritual, very much tapped into you, into who you are. Very much in control of yourself, of your thoughts, of your emotions, your actions. Let's get a message for death and rebirth. I have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I heard held back. See, this was held back from you. That's what you're going to recognize. Like this was held back from you because you still had to go through this process. But I heard like release. Now spirit can release this in the future by you finishing this transformation. Spirit is going to release this. For some of you, again, you're going to have a completely different perspective on what abundance is. 
what happiness is, what fulfillment is. Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The Three of Wands. And I have death at the bottom of the deck. So, Leo, I heard no more waiting around. You're going to experience a shift when it comes to your finances, your stability, your security. And I heard like your growth. Yeah, this is about you coming to the conclusion of your growth, of your soul's growth. And it's like this growth that you are experiencing inwardly is going to trickle over into the outer, into the material world. So it's like with this three of wands, you're no longer going to be waiting for your ships to come in because they're already going to be here. They've already arrived. You've already ended with this death card, what you needed to end. A lot of Scorpio energy. For someone, you may have very significant Scorpio placements. I heard moon for someone, a Scorpio moon. And I also heard Venus. But yes, it's like you are putting an end to whatever doesn't benefit you. And it's like because you have done the work and you're or you're doing the work now, it's like you no longer have to wait. It's already going to be here. A transformation is taking place in your life. I heard a very significant transformation. And Spirit says, like, things will change for the better. Spirit says, you will see. Spirit says, see the blessings over your life. You will see the blessings over your life. So, let's pull some final messages for you. And again, I keep getting perspective, like your perspective is going to change. I heard like enlightened, I heard intuitive, like your perspective of what abundance is, is going to change. And I'm looking at this three of wands and this ace of pentacles in the reverse. You're going to recognize that you already have it. That's what spirit just gave me. You already have it. That's what, that's the realization you're going to come to. You already have it. What you've been looking for, you already have it. That's what some of you are going to be realizing. And I'm also getting with this death card an end to doubt and end to confusion. You're going to have complete clarity when it comes to your life. Let's pull some final messages. Spirit, give me some final messages for Leo. Final messages for Leo. do we have here i have mouth spirit tend to the small things so leo it's the small things that can really hinder us so spirit really wants you to pay attention to the small things um and i'm getting a big energy about emotions dealing with your emotional issues um healing letting go releasing it's like things that, you know, you think did not have as big of an impact on you. They actually do, Leo. So spirit is like getting down, getting to the root, like getting all the way deep and purging yourself, letting it go, regardless of how challenging it is to deal with it again, to drudge up those old, those old feelings, those old emotions. It is needed in order for you to move forward. So, Leo, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.